get into if you're new to guns and you decided that you want to look for a gun you're going to inevitably go to a, either a gun show or a gun store for those of us who have been into guns for a little bit now um, it, it's pretty safe to say especially if you're uh, consider yourself a gun aficionado that you've been to your fair share of gun stores or I've been to all the gun stores that you could possibly imagine and in doing so I've encountered a number of different personality types behind the other side of the counter so what I'm going to do today is kind of talk to you briefly about what type of people you're going to encounter when you go into a gun store because all of them are not the same and each of them have their own typical personality trait. Now one personality type you might, that you might encounter at a gun store is what, that, what I call, like to call the fanboys. Now the fanboys are, are brand loyalists as I like to call them. They are basically the guys who have utilized a certain gun and become obsessed with it. Usually these people are considered Glock fanboys, 1911 loyalists, things of that sort. And you know these people because when you come into the store, everything they do sounds like a sales pitch for a particular brand. Not even for a particular gun, just a particular brand. You could come in looking for something very specific and they're going to try to steer you in the direction of that particular brand. Whether it be a Glock, a Kimber, Springfield, whatever. And they're going to talk about this gun like it's the... And, and notice they're not talking about the gun. They're going to talk about the brand as, it's, as if it is the holy grail of all gun brands and manufacturers. So spotting a, 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 a fanboy is relatively easy because they will not stop trying to facilitate you towards a certain brand. And then that, that's how you know you're dealing with a fanboy. So understand that their idea and the whole mentality behind the types of guns are completely skewed. The douchebag. The douchebag is basically going to be the guy who you've done your research, you have an idea of what type of gun you want, and so you go into the gun store so that you can get a better idea if this is the type of gun you want. But then when you walk in and you talk to an attendant, they trash the gun that you're looking at. They just totally trash it and completely make you feel stupid about even entertaining that particular gun. There's a difference between letting someone know that this gun is really of no quality versus just trashing somebody's gun because you have been involved in guns for a long time and you've understood the different quality types in each of the guns. For instance, if I go there and I say I'm looking for a Ruger, let's say I'm looking for a, a Ruger SR9C for instance. It's an affordable gun. It's not a bad gun by any stretch of imagination. If anything, it was, it's a really great gun. It may not be as fancy, may not have the same finishing qualities as say for instance an HK or SIG, but the gun does what you need it to do, it's reliable, and it's a good gun. A douchebag or a gun snob, they'll say things like, that gun is trash. That gun will blow up in your hand. That gun's going to fail when you need it to. Like, they, they over-exaggerate everything in, in such a way to demean you. And they may not even be aware that they're doing it, but they're doing it. Be wary of the gun snob, because the gun snob is basically on, on this whole status thing where he feels like he needs to have the most top-notch, upper echelon gun in the world, and that by him having that, that, that makes his gun, in essence, a death ray. The old fart. Now, the, the old fart are easy to spot, usually, because they're old. Now, I'm not saying that every old fart, every old person in a gun store, and that's a gun store tenant, is going to subscribe to the same thought process, but usually these people who think like this are old. And they're old because they come from an era where guns were a lot different than they are now. Most guns, most, most old snobs aren't going to be inclined or very welcoming to guns such as Glock, Springfields, things that guns that are usually utilize a polymer frame because they come from an era where guns were all steel and weighed a thousand cabillion pounds. So for them, making that transition over is hard for them. They, 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 their mind just hasn't affixed on the cold concept of having, in essence, a plastic gun. So for them, they, they still to this day will argue someone to death and tell you that an all metal frame gun is going to be better than a plastic gun. Because their concept of plastic and their concept of the way guns were before don't mix together. When you encounter an old fart, it's not even that they don't know what they're talking about. They know what they're talking about. They just know about those old time guns. So they're usually going to be the ones that push you towards the 1911s, revolvers, things like that. Not that those guns are bad, but the problem is with them, you get a limited perspective on the type of guns that you may want. So with the old fart, as I like to call them, you understand that you're getting a perspective that's very limited. They're knowledgeable about that aspect of guns, but you're missing a completely different side. So the newbie. You encounter the newbie basically in bigger gun stores 
or um, things, gun stores like that are, or stores that aren't really just there for the sole purpose of selling guns. They're in the market to sell a whole bunch of stuff and they just so happen to sell guns. That's usually where you encounter a newbie and big gun stores where they hire a lot of people. The newbie basically is the guy who doesn't really know about guns. He thinks they're cool, but he needs a job and he has a friend that works at a gun store and the friend that works at a gun store is cool with the manager. So he talks to the manager to get his friend the job. And they figure they can teach him all that he needs to know about guns in the time period that he's going to be there. Which is fair enough. Only problem is, when you run into the newbie, you don't really know where he is in that process of knowing what he's doing. So, in that regard, the newbie is, in essence, going to be a, a, a talking parrot. It, he's just going to regurgitate every, everything that he's been told in the last 30 minutes, or everything that he's read in the internet form the night before. He doesn't really know or have a con conceptual understanding of what type of guns and, and, and to give you a really valid opinion about what type of gun you should be getting. So w when dealing with the newbie, you need to understand that that he really honestly knows nothing. And, and the newbies are usually pretty quite useless. All they're doing is facilitating ideas that you've already have and know. He's not going to bring anything new or insightful to your gun purchasing decision. So keep that in mind when you're dealing with the newbie. And usually the newbies are younger. Sometimes they're actually older too. And but beware of the newbie. And lastly, the commando. The commandos get on my damn nerves. Because typically commandos do not live in this reality. And 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 for most people when I say commandos, they're probably thinking somebody who's ex-military. And 95 to 99% of the time, the commando gun store attendee has no military experience whatsoever. Their military experience is limited to a friend who has a friend who has a cousin that has a brother who was in a special ops doing special missions in so far remote part of the country that no one knows about. And he hears stories about it. So now all of a sudden he becomes a master of these things. And the commando is going to be the guy who gives you unnecessary amounts of information, overload your brain with stuff that you don't need, and completely distract you from what you're there for. So you go to the store, and the, the point of you going to the store is to find a gun for home defense. But instead of giving you a simple gun that you need for a home defense, let's say a Glock, a Springfield, something like that, they, they start pointing you to different things like, here, why don't you get this gun here with a silencer? I, I, don't, I don't need a silencer. I, I, I need a gun for home defense. Well, why don't you get a gun with a Trigicon mount on this? I don't, I don't need that. Like, I, I need a gun for home defense. They can get you far and away from what you came there to do in the first place and pretty much for the most part waste your time. And so a lot of times what it really is is they have too much information. They know too much about too many stuff that don't really have anything to do with anything. So they just start talking over your head and you don't, you don't know what to do with this information. So pick and choose with the type of information he's giving you because a lot of it is really useless and you can kind of throw it out and doesn't really do you any good. So with that being said, understand that when, you, when you're dealing with gun stores, um, you're still dealing with people. And not everybody behind a gun store knows what they're talking about. So with that in mind, next time you go out to a gun store, keep these thoughts in mind and understand the type of person that you're dealing with. Because they're not all the same. But at the same time, enjoy it. Looking for a gun is a process that you'll never ever get to the end of. Some people may, but if you become an aficionado, it doesn't end. You want one gun one day, another gun the next day. You think you found the perfect gun and realize you hadn't found the perfect gun. It's a process. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the, vari enjoy the variations. Enjoy the differences um, that you encounter with the different types of guns. For you guys out there who've encountered different gun store people, let me know. Leave them in the comments. Tell me if, they're, if I missed the personality type. I'm sure I can hit them all. But let me know any gun store personality types that you've encountered that I haven't. And tell us about it. I, wanna, I like reading the comments. I read all the comments. I, I just can't always answer all of them. But I get all the comments directly to my phone. And I like to read them. So, that's Mr. Coley on the War. And I'm out.